Hey guys, Tina here and welcome to my August TBR. This is another ambitious TBR, but that's how it's been going on lately because I'm so excited to be reading more and then I just put a lot of books on my TBRs and then, you know, I know that I'm not gonna realistically read all of them, but at least I have options depending on my mood to what, what strikes me, you know, to pick up. And um, this month is no different. What's gonna be different is that I will be using a Magic 8 Ball and I will ask it whether or not I'm gonna like a book and see what it tells me. And after that, I will be sort of uh, at the end of the month, I will be letting you know how correct it was. And I'm just, I don't know. I used to have an a Magic 8 ball and of course I threw it away. So now I have an application on my phone to do that. But I'm just, I don't know. I just like the idea of doing this kind of video. So uh, here we are. So the first book that I want to tackle is Kingdom of Ash by Sarah Jamas. I tried reading it last month, but I just I just couldn't get into it. And I had other books to read, so I didn't uh, really get far into it. Just a couple of chapters. And uh, honestly, I think I will try to read, uh, to listen to this one because that's probably going to be easier, even though I really don't like the narrator for these books. I mean, all the females just sound so whiny and uh, annoying, so I have a hard time listening to it. But I don't know, maybe I'll just combine the two. Obviously, since I didn't uh, read much of it, I also didn't have the chance to actually get into it. So maybe if I give it another few chapters that I would love it and I couldn't put it down. But uh, we shall see how this month works out. Uh, this is the last book in the Throne of Glass series uh, in which we follow Selina Serdathian, who is this world-class assassin. And this is her story and I want to see how it concludes. Uh, and this is a monstrosity of a book so big and huge and heavy actually to hold so i will you know not be doing that for long but still firstly we have to ask my magic eight ball so this is the application can you even see anything can you i don't know if i no, probably not i'll just insert the picture that's going to be easier so it says shake me so the question is will i like this book or not i mean i'm shaking it and ask me again later okay hmm I guess I'll have to do that. So we shall wait until the end of the video and see um, if it has a more conclusive answer. Then uh, the next book that I'm going to tackle is The Kingdom of Copper by Essie Chakraborty. This is the sequel to City of Brass, which I read last month and I loved it. It's a Middle Eastern uh, fantasy series that uh, is uh, basically um, following the mythology of the jinn. I'm not familiar with it, uh, but I'm really I really enjoy the first book, anyways. And we also follow this girl that lives in Cairo, and she is a fortune teller and a healer and a bunch of other stuff. But she's mostly a thief, and uh, she gets into a bit of trouble, and she accidentally summons a jinn, and together they travel to Devabad, which is the sort of the capital states where jinns live and she should fit in there but obviously there's politics again and um, you know things are not quite as, they, quite as they seem so I really enjoyed the first book and I'm thinking that I'm gonna like this one as well uh, again I will probably be reading this in a physical format I might combine it with listening to it uh, it depends but um, I'm really looking forward to this one and I personally think that I was, I'm gonna like it but let's see what the magic 8 ball has to say and I'm shaking it again uh, you may rely on it. So um, it looks good. Uh, I probably will like it. I mean, it says so basically. So um, we shall see at the end of the month when I report back. Then I have a book that it's going to be a reread and that is The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. I have had the whole trilogy for years now, ever since the last book came out and I haven't uh, finished it yet so I think this is the time for me to do it uh, as I said this is going to be a reread I will listen to the story it's about a princess who is betrothed to this prince and she doesn't want to marry him so she runs away and there are two boys following her one is an assassin there to kill her and the other one is the prince uh, coming after her and um, for those of you who have not read it yet uh, it's written in such a way that you cannot really say which is which which boy is which uh, and uh, you have to basically wait until the end to find out. Um, I know the gist of the story, I remember it sort of, so I could maybe skip it, but the last part I'm slightly foggy about, so I think that a reread is necessary, and I remember liking it, obviously, since I continued on 
buying the series if not reading it so um yeah let's see how uh, my magic eight ball feels that i will feel about it so i'm gonna shake it shaking it and outlook is good which well that's great i mean that's that's promising so i'm thinking that i'm gonna like it again and hopefully continue on with the series then and you will also notice that there's quite a few books on this tbr that have been on many of my previous tbrs but i've for some reason never tackled them and never read them and finished them so um yeah and one of them is the waking fire by anthony ryan now as you probably know if you have been following me for a while or watching my videos you will know that i love his raven shadow trilogy and uh, i have no reason to believe that this one you know will be any different because i started it never got past chapter two but uh, what i read i always liked and um, this is dealing with dragons people are actually uh, able to some people are able to ingest uh, um, dragon blood and then they get the different powers depending on what type of blood they ingest and um, I don't know I just I'm just uh, I'm not I don't have an excuse for not <laughs> actually finishing this book yet because I'm sure I'm gonna like it um, and yeah let's see what the magic eight ball has to say about that uh, it's so you know sometimes we are weird with books aren't we uh, so, somehow avoiding the ones that we think that we're gonna love but still we don't pick them up so yeah shaking 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 yes I'm gonna like it well that's good I like that I have to say another book that I'm gonna pick up hopefully this month is The Faded Sky by Mary Robinette Coble I read the um, uh, Calculating Stars last month oh no at the beginning of this month and I really enjoyed it it's an alternate history type of book that uh, takes place in the 50s and there was this asteroid that hit the earth and now people are trying to deal with the consequences and the scientists are trying to figure out what kind of consequences uh, it will bring a long term and as it turns out it, the earth is going to be pretty uninhabitable uh, pretty soon so you know NASA and its scientists are trying very hard to bring people to into um, space and on moon and then further on into our solar system and um, we follow this woman who is a scientist and she works for NASA as is her husband but because she's a woman she obviously doesn't have the same level of um, opportunities that her husband or other men in general are presented with and she fights you know she's a feminist so she fights very hard uh for you know to to get women to be able to go into space and such uh so yeah she's also dealing with anxiety which is i think it's represented pretty well but um I'm not an expert so you know don't take my word on it anyways I really enjoyed that book it's sort of slow paced but that didn't stop me from loving it and I already ordered the sequel I don't have it here yet but uh, I will in time to, to pick it up obviously and I think again that I will love it uh, but let's see what the ball has to say don't count on it well that's not promising uh, we'll see we shall see. I think I think the ball is wrong here, but we'll see. Obviously, next book is uh, The Last Wish by Andrzej Sapkowski. This is a very popular series right now, and people keep talking about it uh, because of the Netflix series that is. I'm not even sure when is it coming out. Uh, hopefully, you know, I'll be able to read a few books before that happens. But uh, there have been trailers. There have been, you know pictures of the cast and everybody is really excited about everything so I decided it's time to see what this is about there's also a video game that I know nothing about but people really enjoy it it seems and um, yeah so this I think is a story about Geralt and he's a witcher and I think he hunts demons that's as much as I know this is supposed to be like sort of the first book but it's not really because it's just a collection of short stories I think um, and then the first book is actually the third book, if I'm correct. If I'm not, do, do let me know down in the comments. But I think this is sort of how it goes, the reading order. Uh, but yeah, not sure. Uh, but I want to see how I like it. This is a Polish author, I think. And um, I've talked to some uh, when I was in this uh, con in, in Ljubljana here. Um, it was actually said that, you know, it's really good for Slavs because we can relate to it. So 
I'm gonna see if that is true or not. But anyways, uh, I'm, you know, I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about this one. So I will let the magic eight ball tell me how I am. It's certain that I'm gonna like it. Well, wow, this is very optimistic. So I think there's just one book that I'm not gonna like right so far, uh, and the others sound pretty optimistic. So. Hopefully that turns out to be true. The next book that I have is, it's a sort of a reference book, a self-help thing. And it's one that I think it's going to be fa a fast read. And it's Mark Manson's uh, The Subtle Act of Not Giving a Fuck. Um, not, exactly, not exactly sure what it's about, but I think it's going to be uh, a fun and uh, quick read. And I just want to sort of like read it for the fun of it. Maybe I will get something out of it. Um, you usually do with these books, not that you don't necessarily follow the advice or whatever you learn, uh, but still, I wanna. There are definitely things that I do not want to give a fuck about, so uh, hopefully, <laughs> this will teach me how to do that. Now, let's see, will I learn anything good from this book? And this is the question for this one. And let's see, I'm shaking, 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 and it says, My reply is no. Wow. Aren't we pessimistic suddenly? <laughs> okay, whether or not I'm gonna learn about it, anything from it, I will let you know uh, when the time comes. But um, so far, it's not looking good, apparently. So those are all my must-reads. And before we get to the, the optional ones, uh, I will ask the Magic Hill Bot once again how it feels about the Kingdom of Ash. And let's see, will I like it? Well, what is this? Yes, it says that I will like it, so hopefully <laughs> that's going to be true. I will definitely would be happy if I liked it, but uh, I guess we shall see at the end of the month. And now let's get to some of the options that I have here. I would like to get to these books. They have been on plenty of my TBRs, uh, and uh, there are some series that I would like to catch up on, uh, some that I would like to start because I have quite a few books in the series already in my possession, and I would like to see whether or not I should continue buying the sequels. Um, so yeah, the first one is Spell Slinger by Sebastian de Castell. This is about a boy who is supposed to face his magical duel, but he has no magic. So yeah, it's it's a gorgeous book, and I would like to get the, the fourth one in the series, but since I have not read the first one yet, I'm finding it hard to uh, justify buying the fourth one. So I haven't done that yet, but I would like to get one, you know, with the, the green edges, because the book is green, so... Um, that's why I'm always tempted to buy it, uh, but so far I haven't. I have resisted the temptation, but I would like to fi uh, at least give this one a try to see whether or not I actually will enjoy it and see um, then if I have a reason to buy the fourth one. So yeah, it, will I get to this one? Let's see what the Magic 8 Ball has to say. Uh, let's see, I'm shaking it. Outlook is good. Good, so maybe I will finally read this one and... Um, enjoy it or not but at least i'll have an answer the next one is the second book in the series and is the mask city by genevieve cogman this is a follow-up to the secret oh no what kind of library wait is it secret library the invisible library yes okay sorry so this is uh sort of a steampunkish uh, fantasy series uh, that takes place in this invisible library that is between um, parallel universes, I guess, sort of, and the librarians uh, are tasked with finding different books, uh, different editions in different worlds, and they, they bring, then they bring them back to the library, and we follow this uh, Irene, who's the librarian, and she has an apprentice called Kai, and they, in, I think in book one, they sort of tackle a murder, this book disappears, and people are dying, and um, I really enjoyed it, so I've tried plenty of times to pick this book up and at some point I did but I also put it back down so um, I would like to continue on this series there's quite a few sequels already out and um, yeah will I have the time to pick this one up let's see what the magic eight ball has to say about this one I'm shaking it again and yes I see it yes well that's good I like that answer uh, because I really would like to get to it. And then 
And the last book that I sort of have in mind for this month is another sequel. And it's a sequel to Air Awakens by Lise Kova. And that, this one is called Fire Falling. And this is about a book, again, uh, a, a book about a girl who, again, <laughs> lives and works in a library. Well, she doesn't live there, but she works in a library. And um, I think from... I want to remember book one because, again, it's been a while since I read it. Uh, she's sort of, you know, afraid of sorcerers and magicians. And um, then one day she realizes is that, that she is actually also a sorcerer or, you know. And then she has to decide basically whether she wants to pursue her library career or become a sorcerer. And um, that option is sort of taken away from her. And she gets into a bit of trouble. So this is follow-up to that and I started reading it again but I also again picked it, put it down and this time I would like to actually get through it it's it's actually a fast read once you get uh, you know started uh, but let's see will I be able to pick it up will I find the time will I find the will to do it I'm shaking 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 outlook is good well, all in all, I think this magic ball is quite positive and optimistic and uh, hopefully <laughs> quite correct as well but again we shall see about that in my august wrap up and i hope that you enjoyed this video i hope it was fun enough and uh, until next time have a good time and see you then bye